Hi, this is Andre from Charles Games, and in this tutorial I want to show you how to customize the options that you show to players in your game. So I have a completely new project here, just with the Charles engine uh, imported, and I opened uh, the sample scene, the dialogue scene 1, and we're just gonna play it now. Got your email. So we are now at the fork it, uh, in the dialog. You can see it here in the dialog editor. We are now showing options to the player. And I want to show you how to customize this so it looks any way that you want. So first of all, you can uh, see that it's, uh, it's all dark. And we can actually uh, now set how, how dark it gets uh, when there is this video behind the options. Uh, just first of all, I'm going to uh, skip the first video so we don't have to watch it again. And also, I'm just gonna play the uh, play the dialogue right away, so we don't have to click the button just to make it just to make it a little bit faster. Okay, so uh, all the options that you usually uh, uh, find and uh, with the Charles Engine are located here in Resources uh, C Engine Settings. You can also get to them by clicking Charles Engine About and open settings. So here you can see a bunch of options. Uh, the latest one that was added was this fork overlay alpha. Right now it's set uh, at about a half, but we can actually uh, decrease it completely to zero. So I'm just gonna show you how that looks. If I uh, press play here. And you can see that we are right away at the fork because of the changes I did and there is no uh, no background, uh, no dark overlay. Or we can increase it to something very close to uh, to 1. And if I press play, I'm going to get something very, very dark. So that's the, uh, that's the one basic change. Uh, but the main uh, the main way that you influence what the choices looks like, uh, look like are with this prefab that's referenced here, Dialog Choice Prefab. There is already one here uh, uh, by default, called Choice Layout Default. And if you look at it, it has a bunch of options. Uh, first of all, there, there is the Answer Line Prefab. So there's two prefabs. One of them uh, references the, uh, the layout, influences the layout. And the second one is uh, tasked with uh, rendering the line, like one line at a time. If I double click this line that was referenced in the layout default, uh, the choice layout default line prefab, I double click it, uh, I get this one object that uh, is responsible for showing one line. So I can, for example, increase uh, the size a little bit, maybe make it bold, uh, make it uh, a different color or something. And just, just with this, if I now uh, press play, We're gonna uh, we're gonna get this. Uh, second of all, uh, you can of course influence uh, fonts and uh, all the other stuff. Uh, also, you can uh, there is the box collider. Uh, this is th this defines the area which is clickable with your answers. So if I press this edit collider button, I can also make the text interactive in a much smaller area or larger, whatever whatever you want. Gonna return this back. Uh, so this was this influences what one line looks like. If I want to influence uh, the layout, I go to the choice layout uh, default prefab, uh, which is referenced in the in the settings here, the cho uh, choice prefab. And uh, there is a bunch of options here. So the first of all is where it starts. So right now it's at minus two uh, six four, which means it's, it starts a little bit uh, to the lower side of the screen. If I change this to 264 and press play, you can see that the options are now displayed at the top of the screen instead. You can uh, uh, you can check a little bit the ideal uh, ideal size here if you uh, if you want to play with it. You can you can set this and then. Uh, Take a look at your your ideal number here. Uh, 
which is uh, where the first line starts at. I'm just gonna exit this. Uh, another option that's there, which you can see in the choice layout default, is uh, how far apart the lines are. So if we put a bigger number here, like 168 instead of 68, the lines are going to be much further apart than before. That depends uh, how long your text is in those options, for example, or how big your font is uh, in the default line uh, prefab. And the third option that's uh, obvious there is that you can instead put those lines horizontally. I'm just going to put the start uh, Y at zero, so they're going to be at the center of the screen horizontally one next to one next to another. So right now because uh, our line is too too long they're actually uh, overlapping. We can fix this by going to the default line and actually making this uh, smaller for example like 400 pixels uh, with wrapping enabled and we can also edit the collider so that it's also smaller. If I go back, press play. We have now the options next to each other instead of uh, one below the other. Uh, another thing that you can now do is to use pictures instead of uh, instead of text for your options. Uh, for that, we actually uh, want to. Uh, uh, what I did here is actually, uh, I'm going to quickly delete this and uh, uh, we're going to create another uh, another prefab for for this uh, options with, uh, with pictures. So I'm going to call it pictures and in uh, resources I'm just going to put uh, for uh, this prefab here instead of the one that was there before so we can now make changes here and uh, instead of this choice layout default line I'm going to use the choice layout default with pictures which is included with the with the package and there is something special here uh, if you if you click it it looks uh, very much like the previous line prefab but there is this answer line with sprites script instead of the original answer line and it has these keywords and sprites. By default, there is this one, uh, just to show you uh, what it does, there is this one dog, and um, there is a corresponding image that it's... Uh, uh, so the way it works, it's uh, if it detects the text in here, in the keywords, in the text of the answer line, it's gonna substitute the whole, whole answer with this uh, sprite. I'm going to show you just in a moment, maybe we can add uh, another option that, for example, if it says uh, male, then we're going to uh, show a picture of the male icon. So you have to have the correspondence that these uh, these two arrays are the same size, and the first, uh, I mean, the element zero here corresponds to element zero here in the sprite. And now, uh, if we go back to our dialog, and uh, we added the answers so that they include our keywords. So I'm going to put dog here in the first answer and then uh, mail in here in the second answer. Uh, we should see our pictures instead of uh, the text. So you can see that it detected the keywords and it substituted the sprites that we selected. But now it works just the same as if there was text. We just click it and it goes to the corresponding corresponding line. Uh, so what if you wanted to, for example, have the first part with pictures and the second part uh, without pictures, or if you wanted to uh, have a different color of text for different, different forks. So this is the last part I want to show you, that you can actually switch uh, these layout prefabs in runtime, uh, even in middle of a dialogue. So uh, we can start here uh, with our standard text, for example, 
And then uh, after this video, we want to uh, call a special script that's going to uh, switch uh, the, the prefabs uh, that's going to be used for the, for the layout. So I'm going to click create here. It's going to create a multi script. I'm going to call it uh, replace a layout prefab. And I'm going to add a special script called replace dialog layout here. This is included uh, in, the, in the package. And I'm going to reference our uh, the, the prefab that we used before. So so okay, so we're gonna be switching from the uh, we're gonna start with the default and then we're going to switch uh, to our uh, uh, picture picture mode. So the way it's gonna work is we're gonna go through the first fork. And after the video, it's going to call our script, which is going to substitute a new layout, and that's going to be used for the second fork right after this uh, script. Just to show it, we have to actually include the dog keywords so that we actually know what we're doing here. And uh, that should be it. Let's see if that works. So first we're starting with this uh, text and then we get the picture picture mode. So in this way you can uh, you can uh, choose different style for different uh, different forks. You can of course also just set it at the beginning of your of your scene. Uh, the default is always set here in this prefab. So that's it from me and I hope that you will create something awesome with this.